iterable and next uh, the details uh, we can see it here just a uh, yeah is the python i am following this site this site is w3schools.com is very precise and very dependable you can you can follow this uh, i am just Yeah, Python iterators. Yeah. This is this is a little bit different that you will not get in C and this thing. This iterator means some iterable object. This, this you will not get in uh, your C. Yeah. There are two methods to be built in underscore underscore iter underscore 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 next. Uh, we are already used to it. Iterator versus iterable. That is a favorite question. Ask any Viva what is iterable and this is, looks different. This is the sample code. Like I have a my tuple. This is a tuple, and I have a three items there, and uh, and iterable. I just iter it, and automatically this will run. Uh, we'll check the code. Uh, see here. Just a minute. Not bad. Yeah, it is the code is there. I just copy this code, copy, and I run it. My uh, yeah, what I done? It's a my table, apple, banana, and my uh, iter. This is my table iter. I make it iter uh, so that is, now it is iter. Otherwise, it was not. So now I print down the next method will come. So if we run it, if we run. The apple banana chair. If we if we make this comment like this, make it. Uh, we'll check whether it is running or not. It is not running. How? Because I make it by iter function. Iter. I make it as iter. My double. I make it with iter function. Then I can call by next next the comment. So I run it right now. If you. Apple in now it is iterated between Apple and another chain, and this is very useful. We check the this one. Uh, then we can we can try this my string, and my string is always iterable object. So you don't have to make iter iter. Like earlier, you have make it a iter. Uh, my string is always a string is always iterable object, and Call it and it will come. You can run this code. So you run it. Now we can check. Uh, loop through an iterator. This is very simple. You can uh, uh, because the iterable, it is always you can loop it through it. So uh, you can also so we can check it through a code right now. See here. This my tuple, uh, it is it is running. It, it is is already iterable. So uh, so create an iterable. One is uh, next and in it an iter uh, like this one. This is interesting. This I creating my own class. You know how. To Make a class. Class is just a keyword is class and colon and this is a function and def and you have to this is a uh, function. It is a and is iter. I I don't have put in it here. I put it iter. This is iter function. Next function I inbuilt iter function and next function I run the code. This is interesting code. So this is the code. Run and see it is stopped. I I I called how many times? One, two, three, four, five. 
so it is called matrix. Next, I'll see this one is uh, more interesting. You see here, here you, you can stop iteration. This is a inbuilt exception is there. Like I defined a class, same thing, and I initialize it with one. And uh, after just twenty, when it reaches twenty, then uh, it will raise an i. This is a uh, assertion. I am creating assertion within software. You can create a exception. You can in Java it is called exception. Here is also it is called exception. It is a stop iteration, and you have to any such exception. If you cannot handle it, it will come to the main program and it will stop the program. If you do not want to stop the program, then you have to uh, put it in a try except loss that I have discussed in my earlier videos. You must check that I am uh, one one of the more interesting thing. I am creating my own class. This is a iter and next method, and this is uh, after the it reaches twenty. It will uh, raise and stop iteration. This program will run. It. So let's try. This is the program I already copied. It. This is the program. Stop after iteration. I'm copying it. Just pasting it. Run it. See, it is stop after twenty. Process finish with exit process. So it will not. But if we make it uh, for interesting case, make it a say twenty two. So what happens? See, so it will run in twenty. Say so it will stop after it reaches there and it stop isolation. That is very interesting. You can create your own. Class and object and all. In fact, you are creating your own object. But here is a class. Uh, this is abstract. You know, all class are basically template uh, until and unless it create object out of it. This uh, here the program starts. Actually, program start here. The my class equal to this is the program. I then the object is created of my class and uh, my item is item my class for x in my item. It will print and it will stop. Whenever it reaches the what I have defined in my class, that is very just here. No, it's no uh, coding, explicit coding of 20, 22. So a lot of things you can do, a uh, lot of intricate details of your object-oriented programming you can put it in your class. You don't have to have a main program like typical procedural programming. All the interfaces has to be come to the in the forefront in the program. It is need not. So all the complexities of the program you can put it in the class like. You are in a uh, CAC uh, 2023, so you, you know very well that you cannot have more than 65 or 70 in your uh, particular section. So if it is more than that, automatically it will create a stop iteration for, from the program. So that is very interesting. Used in everywhere uh, in railway reservation system, railway reservation system, you can uh, automatically stop iteration. That is very interesting thing. I iteration. I have called. Now I am going to little bit about date. That is very easy thing you have already done. You have to just call import date time, uh, and just you, you just see date time again. Date time not now. The you print uh, exact date time second microsecond. Everything will come up. Uh, that will check. Uh, another thing is if, if you here. And this is little thing you have to remember. If you want to say year, then you have to say year. If you don't have to, but uh, this is uh, till microsecond is covered. Uh, year, uh, this is a day of the week. Uh, this is I am creating a date object. This is interesting. Whenever you are putting your year of birth or your date of birth, that will be the date object. Uh, it will be put on, and so uh, see the code once again. First, import date time. Return date time now. This is I am getting all the seconds, and I am just getting the the percentage capital A is the Tuesday. 
and y dot t r means in the 2020. But I am creating a date object z date time. This is the time print z. So automatically it is come because I have not given the time. So it will be default z. So good. So yeah. Date time I have covered. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is nothing much. Now we go a little bit of. Another interesting thing is built in math function. This is uh, very useful, very easy to, to use. Uh, let's check here. Yeah. Built in math, it's a Python math. So remember that you don't have to import anything. Yeah, Python. Uh, every, everywhere you see Python import, you have to see. But for mean, max, these are default. So uh, this is a mean of tuple, automatically print. 5 will come and max of tuple 25 will come. I will show it in our examples. Absolute is there already defined in your, it, it is already defined. You don't have to do absolute minus 7.25, it will absolute value will come and this is power x comma y automatically. This is immense powerful. You know the uh, Python has a uh, power is, uh, precision is fine. very good, very good. So uh, we can try try this code here. We will try this code here. So, let us compact this code so that uh, it will be easier for you to get it. Yes. 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 So, uh, let's try. We have seen Python is very powerful. 99 to the power 99. How much it comes? Let's hope it will come something. I also have tried. Try it. No, the Python should not should be impress me. So, this is power. So, let's run. Oh, it is giving. You see the, the code. This is unique. You will not get it in any other languages. That is the powerful 99 to the power 99. In fact, you can go 99, 999 maximum possible, or 999 maximum. How much it takes? Let's see. Oh, still it is coming. And you see the one beauty of it you get not exponential term, it will get a precise terms. So that is the reason Python is very accurate in any, any accuracy. So you cannot be beat Python. See here it can it doesn't give you an exponential form. Are you getting my point? So other things is minimum, maximum and the absolute I think yeah, absolute value omitting minus it is given. So that is Python math is very impressive. Uh, Python math is impressive, power of this is impressive. Great and you can you can also the square t also. Uh, that is easy. Try that also. Then import. Oh, that is a math function. Here you don't have to import. Now it is. I am now the math function. We can check there. Is in the math module. Here is a math module. The built-in math function. That is built-in. And but till now you don't have to import anything. But if if, if you include the math module, import math. Then you can get a square t and all other little ceiling, uh, math dot ceiling, that ceiling value it was, then the floor, floor value, it's a 1.4 floor value was, it was pi value, all these things. So uh, let's try this program once more. Yes, so import math. Is, um, SQRT 64 is 8, yeah. Mm, 
ceiling 1.4 is 2 definitely uh, mat dot floor 1.4 is 1 for ceiling and I, what I else I do yes I done it I done it and the pi this is a pi well so you like what is it it's mat dot pi so if you go for numpy dot pi same pi but you have to specify which pi you are using this is mat dot pi the pi can pi is defined in mat in numpy same almost here the pi value is same that way so achha, another interesting thing is said that is i think you have all covered and just a little bit extra Python set, this is you know state set and dictionary are same. Uh, second bracket opening and second bracket close. In dictionary, you you, you have a pairs uh, with a semicolon. Uh, so here uh, with a comma, and if it is blank, that means if my set I set everything blank. Or second bracket opening and closing, that means it's a dictionary. That is must know. And I am this is initializing a set. Set is unordered. You all know set is unordered. Yeah, this is you get the length of the set by length command. Uh, set items like uh, set one, then set three. You can the set can contain different data types. All these things. So this is you can check it. The set constructor is there. That I see. Try with one more. That is interesting. That is union method. That is this is set one is small s p set two one comma two set three I am I am set one union dot set two the printed is see we run this code. Set one and set two and set one dot union set two. So this print set three. Yeah, it is. See, it is unordered. You, you, you cannot say A, B, C, and then one, two, three. So whatever it is there, you have to accept that. So next time it might be different. But yeah, so set three is a union of set one and set two. And update method also do the same thing. Uh, update. Another interesting thing you can have the intersection like duplicates. You want to have some duplicates. I, I try this whole thing. This is here. Yeah. So if you run this, let's see here uh, X Apple Banana Cherry and uh, Y Google Microsoft Apple. Uh, X dot intersection underscore update will be both the apple. Because Apple is copied. So run this. Yeah. Uh, here, the last one is a, uh, Apple will be the intersection. Yes. Uh, today, this one. Now, I wish to go a uh, little bit of this. I have already covered, but anyway, I just once more I want to show you that Matplotlib. Another thing I covered. This is excellent library. Again, I am taking this WGS course. What I have done: input Matplotlib pi plot as a plot, input numpy as np. I numpy version. I print it. I y points I take an array see it and uh, plot I this is the marker is O uh, like zero and I show want to show this plot to show so run this yeah this is uh, O and you can you can change the color of everything that I wish to show so let's see So 
all this module from here you can follow. The, the, this is Matplotlib into I have already covered in another class. Uh, this is covered by this John D. Hunter is a doctor. He is a medical doctor. He actually uh, at that time Matplotlib is very costly. One to research purpose he has developed. Install Matplotlib by this command by from console. Uh, that is better. And you can check the version. By plot, you plot Matplotlib as a plot. I have done it, and this command I have shown it. This x points and y points. You can show plotting. Uh, this is I shown right now. X points and Matplotlib. This is a marker. Is a marker I should write now. Marker, Matplotlib line marker. You have a separate type of markers like you can have the marker like star. The command is here. The marker is star. It's very uh, other earlier micro mic marker is O. Uh, it's a different type. O is for circle, star for star. It's a marker preference point, pixel, capital X. Uh, Cross, cross field. So these are the typical marker you can check. There's not much more than this, and you can uh, color also. You can change the color. Like I want the marker with the red. Then it will become the red, uh, red point, and all of the other red. So this is it. Okay. So uh, today uh, this thing and uh, another thing I wish to show you that. This one, yeah. This is. Uh, I'll request you everyone to uh, uh, use the pie chart and also pie diff. Uh, pie chart. Uh, anywhere you want to put some uh, files, you go to the console. Uh, like you can say command. Command. Command here. Like you, you, I, I have done this. You can, you can run this command. Say Python three. Yeah, it will. Or you can, you can code it from there. And uh, that is console based command. You can give it quit or exit. Okay. So this is it. Uh, Libraries, you can get it from uh, various menus, settings. So, the here, uh, settings, Python interpreter, see here, uh, scikit is not installed. I tried scikit, I used to show some machine learning with scikit, uh, but I cannot uh, load it to PyCharm. I have to check it again, it can be done uh, because it's some giving some error. So, you can check it and you can load it. Uh, like this here, I can I can try it in front of you, like scikit, yeah, scikit uh, will come showing up. Package I have to go there. I just install that. It will be automatically installed. If it is not, then you have to go to the console version and go to the PIP method. Uh, settings, you can go for file settings, and you can uh, Python project. You can. You can see what are the packages are installed. Uh, this one I wish to show 